last year you released an album called The Bombshell Sessions. Can you tell me a little bit about that and why it was called that? The place where we recorded it was a friend of our studio and it was called The Bomb Shelter. Thus, uh, but you know, it has a double conundrum in there. There's also, also, you know, the bomb shelters of the 50s, you know, that people would crawl down in. And, uh, so there it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> pretty literal, wasn't maybe expecting that, but yeah. there you go. Yeah. Okay, so that's a pretty unusual place to record an album, actually. Um, why did you choose to take it there then? Um, well, like you said, it was a friend's studio, and we're a new band, and at the time we had no money, so we had to rely on friends, and it was a great favor get, given to us by someone with an amazing studio, and we didn't have much time, so we went in and recorded it. We went to record demos for three days, and it ended up being the record, so we didn't even think we were going in to record a record. It was a favor to record a demo, and we got the bombshell to sessions. So here's a bit of a tough one, it's a bit of an interesting one maybe. Uh, there's a book recently that I've been reading called Retromania, which is about the fact that music doesn't seem to be producing anything new, it just seems to be cutting and pasting things and kind of rehearsing them. It's kind of interesting because a lot of your influences seem pretty old, so I was just wondering kind of what you thought about that really. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. It's good that you take m music and ideas from different eras and put them back in new new things you know every because you know even like a band you I mean we're four people we listen to a little bit of different things now and then you know and it, you, together it becomes a good mix yeah <laughs> I mean there are only eight notes on, on the in in music or well, eight major eight notes major. and you know you just try and make them sound differently all the time it's the same notes so I think the combination of things is what ends up making you be unique Yes, you're, we're deriving things from the past, but we're also in the present day. And then for us, we luck out because we're so influenced by soul and by rock and roll. So we get to grab some from the 50s soul, some from the 50s rock and roll, and kind of make our own soup, and then marry it with what we go through every day in life. So yes, it kind of does, it's a calling to something from the past, but hopefully that it has a feel and a ground and a vibe and a swing and a dance of something today. Also, um, well, originality also comes from, you know, chemistry of players. So, you know, you put a certain group of people together in a room and a certain thing comes up, you know, chemistry, and then, then you come up with an original sort of sound. So, um, to answer your question, I think originality comes from chemistry of players. So, Your performances seem to centre around commanding an audience, whether that's making them move or feel a certain emotion. So, does that feel powerful to you? Well, like Ty says, which I always love to hear is, you know, uh, uh, what is it? We're like, you know, oh, we have a superpower, you know, like a, like a... You know, we met, we, we met this woman one time after one of our shows and she said, it must be powerful, it must feel powerful to cause dance. And so the answer to your question is, yes, it feels powerful. And every time we do it, we try and enhance our power. And we also try and make it more of a circular experience like we get our power from what the audience gives us as well so it's not only what we're putting out it's what we're receiving you know so it feels just as powerful to see the audience feeling empowered by what we're doing so you're currently being managed by doc mcgee who's a bit of a legend so uh, how did that one come about then we were lucky enough to have a bunch of um, a, a bunch of amazing residencies in los angeles and um, four different residencies actually and we and one of the places that we played was this Doc came down and he saw us and li literally within 10 minutes he was he was talking to us the next day we were in his office and it was it was an alignment of uh, just sort of spirits and what we wanted to do with it and we had told him that we wanted to start it out of the UK and we wanted to break it out of the UK because we just kind of felt that this would be the place that would get us the most and lo and behold you know here we are so I guess when things are meant to be they they tend to work a lot easier. And what were the first records that you ever bought? Well, I kind of grew up listening to, you know, 70s songwriters, you know, Bob Dylan's and stuff. That was kind of my era of growing up with music as a very young child. So uh, kind of music with a lot of heart and emotion is where I'm at. But then as I grew older, it's all about groove for me because I play the drums. So, yeah. Uh, for me, I grew up singing first in church and then the first album I owned was a Diva, no, no, was The Clash's Combat Rock. So then it kind of got me into the whole rock thing, but it wasn't until I heard Ike and Tina Turner perform that I realized, for me, what music was about. Uh, I, 
would say Chuck Berry and Little Richard, Beatles, for sure. Good inspiration. Yeah, my, my life changed when, when I started when I started feeling the um, the Motown vibe and a lot of the basically between the Beatles and and Let It Be and anything Motown it, and Sly and the Family Stone it wrecked me. So I, I knew I had no choice. And what were the first festivals that you ever went to? That we went to? As kind of people rather than people in a band. I played at my first festival and that was here. Not today. Yeah. Since we've been in the UK, I've never, I never went to a music festival. They're not as, they're not as common. I mean, they, there's Coachella and a couple of the big ones in the states, but I've, I never went to any of them. I've seen concerts, so I lucked out. Yeah, yeah, the same for the rest of you. Well, I missed the US Festival. I really wanted to go see that, but I was too young. Um, yeah, we're not, we don't have a whole lot of festivals in America. I mean, we do, but it's more like individual concerts. Yeah. So it would really be individual concerts, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's about the same. <laughs> so you got you been to some festivals? Um, yeah, I wouldn't even in in the states. It's nothing like what we've already experienced here. Just being part of this. Uh, this is amazing. I mean, and the the passion for live music that everyone has here, whether it's in large groups or in small clubs, is is amazing. So I can't even put anything festival like in the states into this, personally. Mm -hmm.